Hi, this is tutorial number 15 for Simple Traffic System version 1.0.20. In this video, we'll take a look at the new AI Traffic Stop Manager, which will help you emulate stop signs for the ends of your waypoint route. So to demonstrate this, I've turned off some of the gizmos in the preferences window. I'll go ahead and I'll press play. The gizmos that we still do have in the scene are directly above the end of the waypoint route and those are the gizmos for the AI traffic stops, which is basically a stop sign. So the stop signs are controlled by the AI traffic stop manager, and here we have sequences, which is very similar to the AI traffic light manager. So we have a sequence of cycles, and in the first cycle, we can see that these two stop signs are allowed to be active at the same time. And in the second cycle, the next two. And I've paired it so that the intersections that won't intersect with each other are allowed to drive. So basically I'm sequencing it in a way that will allow all of the traffic to pass through the intersection and then it'll just loop around. And this is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and see how we can build this from scratch. So here I'll re-enable the gizmos and I'll delete the AI traffic stop manager. So if I zoom out, we'll see that what we have is just a bunch of waypoint routes that intersect at this intersection. So the first thing that we'll do is add an AI traffic stop manager. So again, remember this is an alternative to traffic lights. And what this will do is we'll spawn the manager right at the center 000 of the world. We'll just move it over to this intersection and it's a little below ground, so I'll raise it up. And now what I want to do is I basically want to put one of these above the final waypoint of each route. So I'll put one here, and then I'll duplicate it, and I'll move that here, and I'll just continue to do that until I have one for each route. Now I can go into the new configure mode called stop connector and I'll load stops and routes. And again, this is very similar to the traffic light connector. So I'll just select the stop. I'll select the route, connect stop to route. We can see that the red line is drawn. If we want to remove it, we can disconnect stop from route. So I'll just go through and connect all of these. And maybe my stops are not directly above the final point of each route, but that's okay. The positioning does not really make a difference at all. So now all of the stops are connected to all of the routes. And from here I can unload the routes and just turn off configure mode. And the last thing I want to do is configure the AI traffic stop manager sequences. So I know I need four sequences with two stops in each one. So I'll just go ahead and set those. And for the first sequence, I'll do the turning lanes. So I'll do number four with number zero. Those are going to be the first two that are active at the same time. And for the second element, I will do number six and number two. The last two sets, this will be number seven and number three. And then we have one and five. And I'll go back to the preferences window and I'll hide the route gizmos and the waypoints and the sensors again. And from here I'll press play. 
And that's it. That's how you use the new stop system. And it's an alternative to traffic lights, which I think this has been a heavily requested feature. So if you have any feedback, I'd definitely be open to it. It should satisfy most scenarios. All right, that's about it for this tutorial. I'll just let the simulation run. Thanks for checking out the video. Bye.